Give me, can give I me stop? thanks. Can I stop? Give me thanks. For, Come on. For a moment. Come on. Uh, I just got. Got a word for us. It is a word, but uh, Barbara is back in the hospital. Can't breathe. Please pray. This is my one of my older sisters. So if y'all would join with us and pray right now, Father God, we thank you. Right now for Barbara, Lord God, we thank you for her healing in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, we just give you praise and glory and honor, Almighty God. We thank you, Lord God, that those lungs are functioning now in the name of Jesus. I speak to those lungs to operate properly in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your goodness. You spirit of infirmity, you get off of her right now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your goodness, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for healing her. We know there is no distance in prayer. So, Father God, we just thank you that Barbara is healed from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Little praise God. Uh, we welcome you. Happy Sunday morning to you. <laughs> we want to welcome all those that are uh, joining us through uh, audio or video. Uh, we just want to let you know that uh, on a daily basis. Oh. That's okay. <laughs> on a daily basis, we do spiritual warfare. Yes. The Bible yes. says that we're in a spiritual battle. And we yes. keep talking about part-time Christians. We can't be part-time. The devil does not play part-time. That's right. He's a full-time devil. Amen. And he's serious. Amen. So we just have to do some do some uh, some ministering, and whatever is coming against you, we're here together as a body to encourage one another, Amen. to support one another, to let you know hey, you can make it, you can do it. Okay. We want to encourage you, be lifted up, be stirred up. Amen. Be excited for the things of God because the yes. enemy, the world is going to try to put you down every time. We fight a spiritual battle. And we just can't do it being part time. We got to be full time in the things of God. Amen. We got to get into His Word, and the Word has got to come out of us. We just can't keep it inside, and we can just can't be real nice. <laughs> the enemy is not nice. The Bible says in John ten ten, He comes to do what? Steal, kill, and to destroy. Amen. He says, I come that you might have life, but we got to get into him and we got to get the word in so that we can come out so that we can live a life in abundance. Amen. So that we can live and fulfill the mission he's called us to do. Amen. So praise God. Hey, listen. I've got notes and sometimes I follow my notes. But I follow the Holy Spirit more. Amen. Yes, praise God. <laughs> whatever he wants, whatever he's got, I've got a great message Hallelujah. he's given me, but at the time, I follow what he wants me to do. Okay? Yes, we have sets, we have uh, uh, plans that's already set, but whatever he wants, he gets. And we be led by the Spirit of God, not just by your notes. <laughs> so, just be, be ready. Amen. We have to do ministry right then. It's not just a set way of how we do this. It's His way. Amen. Amen. Not my way, not Jose's way, but God's way. But anyway, join. We want to welcome everyone that's joining us. Amen. Amen. And you prepare yourselves to receive because He's always had something for us. Well, I never received. Well, you need to open yourself. Yes. Father, I'm here and I'm yes. ready to receive whatever you have yes. for me. You Thank know, we used to tell us like this. We were teaching children and our youth. Be like a sponge. <laughs> and I want to soak up whatever he's got. You know a little yeah. sponge is a great tool. Yes. It'll soak up the word. It'll soak up the water. But we have to be like sponges and just yeah. soak it up. And take it in. Meditate on it. And grow from it. Mm -hmm. We don't want to stay the same. We're growing from glory to Amen. glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So praise God. Heavenly Father, have your way. Amen. Yes. Have your way. Amen. Not our way, but your way. You will be done. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Woo. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I encourage you. Let the word encourage you. Let the word change you. Let the word lift you up. Let the word uh, um, convict you yes. of where you need to be. Amen. Get up of your and say, Yama, and it's time to keep pressing on with him. He says, press on. He didn't say, sit down. That's right. <laughs> he didn't say, step back. Mm -hmm. He says, it's time to press on. Yes. Amen. So we're on a mission and we're moving. Amen. But we want to move in the right direction. If you're out of tune with him, <laughs> if you're out of place with him, it's time to get back in place with Amen. him. Get back get in more. the race. He yes. sets you on this race and says, Father, I stepped away. It's time to get back in the race. Yes. Amen. 
Thank you, Lord. There's no one like you. Praise God. There's no one as special as you. Yes, sir. I'm God's favorite child. No, no, no. There you go. <laughs> you see, I am. You put yourself, just point at yourself Praise and God. say, I'm God's favorite I'm child. God. You got to see yourself God. that way. Yes. Amen. Every day when you get up, get up, when you wake up, it says, I'm God's favorite child. And I can do all, all things through Christ who strengthens me. He's called you to do something. You have a calling in your yes. life. You know, he's qualified to. Yes. So why are you waiting for the world to qualify to when God has already qualified to? Right. 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 We're still waiting. Thank you, Lord. He's waiting on us. Mm -hmm. It's time to step out in faith. Amen. Step out in faith, church. The yes. door's going to open when you step out. Yes. You know, you're waiting for the door to open. Well, you haven't taken any steps. Uh -huh. How did Peter walk on water? Uh -huh. He stepped out of his boat. We need yes. to step out of our boats. We need Thank to step out Lord. of our little comfort zone. Okay. <laughs> And it's time to press on. Uh -huh. yes. Everything's in there. The gifts are in there. You know what he said? He says, I never take those gifts back. Mm -mm. I never take them back. That's right. He's given them. He's put them there. So the Bible says we can do all things through him. And it's time to press on. Let the word change you. Don't leave like you came. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I didn't catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time I'll bring my hammer and try to crack your head open. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta hold it down. You know, the Holy Spirit is a gentleman, and He never forces His way in. That's right. You gotta say, "Come in. Mm -hmm. I'm open, Father." Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, Jesus opened His arms, mm -hmm. and He allowed Himself to be crucified for us. Mm -hmm. We need to be open for Him. Yes. He's our greatest example. You want to roll out? There's your greatest example yes. right there. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Woo. He's not finished with you. That's He's right. got great plans for you. Yes. None of them include defeat. That's right. He's got great plans for you. Mm -hmm. You pointed to great yes. plans for yes. you, me. not me. Well, you know, brother so and so, pastor so and so. We talked about this last week when we started uh, the word of encouragement. He says, "Welcome home, good and faithful pastor." No servant. Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. No, he says servant. If you want to be great in God's kingdom, you got to be a servant, a servant of all. All. <laughs> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. So we're going to be talking. That's going to be our text, you know. For God so loved the world that he gave. John 3, 16. Welcome home. Don't try to compare yourself to the world. Just be who God called you to be. That's right. Just be you. Amen. Be yourself. Amen. Yes. Don't try to be like nobody else. He makes you unique. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. The world's going to come against you. <laughs> if you're not being used by God, guess what? Somebody else is using you. Mm. <laughs> all right. So be who you are in him. Mm -hmm. Be a servant of him. Mm -hmm. Amen. To serve his people. He's a hand where the body, body. he's going to use the body to do his work. Yes. So that's us. That's you and me. So he's going to, he wants to use you. Don't say he never talks to me. Well, it's time that you open your Bible. Well, it's time that you open your mouth and say, thank you, Lord. We know you about talking about Thanksgiving. I don't know what else to say except thank you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thanksgiving. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> We're just getting started. Praise let's, God. let's open up in our prayer here. Mm -hmm. oh. Hallelujah. <laughs> grab your Bibles. Grab your swords. Oh, my Where's God. Where's mine? Here's mine. Ah. If you don't have one, grab one. With your partner there. <laughs> this is my Bible. I have it. I have it. I can do all the things I can do. Today I will talk to God. I fully confess that my mind is forever. My spirit is forever. And I'll never be the same. Amen. I don't want to be the same. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 God's word is alive. God's word is alive. Active, active and powerful. And powerful. <laughs> it is more than just a book. It is more than it just is a God's book. love letter for me. It is God's, it is God's instruction for me. It is God's instruction. It leads me. It leads me. It teaches me. It, teaches it heals me. It heals and me. And it prospers me. And it prospers me. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So why should we keep it close? It's not, it looks real cute on, on, on your coffee table. <laughs> That's not going to scare the devil away. That's right. What's going to scare him away is when you submit yourself to God. You yeah. open it up, submit yourself, and read and get the word in you. So when he comes, yeah. it's a spiritual battle. Amen. When he comes, you say, hey, you know, I'm not afraid of you. 
I'm taking authority over you. I'm turning this around. Used to be this way, but it now is his way. <laughs> when you speak to him, when you submit yourself to God, resist the devil and he will flee. flee. He don't want to hang around with you no more. Amen. Amen. So praise God. I'm excited. I know Pastor Pat said something. By praying for those that uh, were arrested. Continue to pray for them. Continue to pray for their, their uh, families. And continue to pray for our brother uh, Oscar here. That's his ministry. And I just want you to know, brother. God has called you. God has placed you here. So don't doubt. He is with you. He says you can do all things through me. Because I am with you. Amen. So you're in the right place, brother. Don't feel. You know, sometimes when you don't feel that closeness, he's there, though. You, you, you uh, remember the footprints. And you don't feel like, well, where did you go? Where did God go? <laughs> he was carrying you when you thought you was all by yourself. And God is with you, brother. God is with every one of you. Even when you feel like he's not around, he's with you. Amen. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Amen. So he's with you all the time. When you feel lonely, it's time to get plugged into the source. Amen. Say, Father, I need more strength from you. I need more energy from you. I need you, Father. Jesus used to go to the Father when he needed his strength. Yes. When he needed to be strong. Yeah. We don't even approach the things that he went through. Mm. We don't even go through half of the things that he went through. But he went to the Father mm -hmm. to get the strength that he needed. Everybody was waiting. The devil and all the people that he mm -hmm. used were waiting for him to fall mm -hmm. and say the right, the wrong things, mm -hmm. and to commit to sin. But he never did. So right. we can do those things ourselves. Amen. Right. Satan's plans are always to break you and destroy you, but God's Lord's plans for you is to save you and restore you. Yes. Right. We're a church for lost souls to come. Yes. Right. Amen. You go out. And you minister to them. Wherever your ministry is. Yes. We're ministers of reconciliation. Yes. We're his ambassadors. So your area, your mission field, wherever you happen to go, mm -hmm. wherever you work, wherever you happen to go, or do your shopping, your groceries, that's your area of ministry. Just let the word of God out. Mm -hmm. yeah. And God says, do something. Speak it out and say it. We're here to save and restore. He, he wants to save and restore us. Death. Well, we already talked about John 10, 10. Yeah. The enemy, the devil, does not do come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He says, Amen. I have come that you might have life, and life more abundantly. Amen. Amen. So open up. We're going to be talking about <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, remembering the goodness of God. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, politically correct, uh, we don't say uh, Happy Thanksgiving anymore. We just say, it, it's a holiday. Mm. And we celebrate the holidays. Um, we're time off. So, we, right. we 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 want to have some food. We want to have some partying. And uh, oh yeah, uh, we get an extra pay for the holiday. So. But somehow we forgot about. We celebrate it because of Jesus, because of His goodness. Go to the next one. Happy Thanksgiving, gracious, loving God. We give you thanks. For the incredible blessings you give us each day. Thank you for your un un unconditional love and help us to share that love with others. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Unconditional. Mm -hmm. Agape love. This is the Thanksgiving. You know, when you say Happy Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. you think about, oh, that's not till November. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's once a year. No, every day is a day of Thanksgiving. You know, Amen. when you get before him and say, Father, thank you. Thank you. I want to thank you. I want to praise you. And that's what our message is. It's about Thanksgiving. Giving thanks and giving praise. <laughs> Hopefully you had a, a great Thanksgiving, church. And those listening, those yes. watching, will have a happy Thanksgiving day with you daily before you meet the world. Mm. Because you're going out there. <laughs> and you can't stay back. Be surprised how many people are afraid to go out. But you don't be afraid. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. You know? 
people don't know how, don't care how much you know until they see how much you care. Mm -hmm. And when you let the love and compassion of God shine through you and come through you mm -hmm. and speak through you, they'll know. We used to tell our children and, uh, and youth, say, put your love, your Jesus glasses on. Mm -hmm. What's your Jesus glasses? Love and compassion. Yeah. When I see you, I see Jesus. The same Jesus died for me, died mm -hmm. for them. Amen. So we don't start to judge it, we just start to ministering and loving and having compassion. Mm -hmm. Compassion can help. Feeling sorry is no help. That's right. <laughs> compassion helps. Mm -hmm. Sorry does not. So don't say, hey, you know, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not ministry. Love and compassion to the people that Jesus, that God sent Jesus, sacrificed Jesus for all of us. Mm -hmm. They don't know what you know because they don't know the truth yet. Yeah. But once they know the truth, it's going to set them free. Set them free. Yeah. Amen. They need yeah. to be free also. Mm -hmm. Praise mm -hmm. God. Yes. God is good. Yes. So nationally, yeah, we celebrate once a year and we give thanks. But remember, church, the true meaning of Thanksgiving is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus is the reason for the Thanksgiving season. And we give him thanks and we praise him on a daily basis, not just once a year. Remember what he's done for us in yes. the blessings, his help. Go to the next slide. In everything, in some things, no, every in everything, <laughs> give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. First Thessalonians 5.18. <laughs> in everything, give thanks. Get before him. Open up. You know, when you're by yourself, you can pray now. <laughs> you don't have to be silent, you know. Right. <laughs> so can you read this, Lord? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay. Words yes. are carriers. Words. Yes. Remember, we've watching our words since the start of the year. Uh, Change our vocabulary because life and death are in the power of Yes. Right. So we are careful of the things we say. If it pops in your head, it doesn't mean it's got to pop out of your mouth. You control. We have an awesome little book over there. It's called Hung by the Tongue. Oh boy. Are you being hung? It's time you stop hanging yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quit hanging yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, it's just words. That's what most people say. Yeah, uh -huh. Just words. I just say it, you know, because I heard it. Just mm -hmm. like little children. They repeat what you say. Well, don't do what I do. Do what I say. Or don't say Confused. You're confused. I'm confused. <laughs> oh, God. Well, he's not giving us a spirit of confusion. That's right. Amen. So, anyway, words are powerful. Yes, they are. They're seed. They're seeds. You sow when you plant them. And they grow good things when you sow good things. But they'll grow bad things if you sow bad things. Giving thanks with grateful, grateful, thankful, glad, and appreciative heart. Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Sure, Jesus, he got before the Father. He, he just thanked the Father, he prayed, and then he says, Forgive him. Yeah. Forgive him. His mission was complete. He gave himself up to the Father. He offered himself back to the Father. He didn't say, Just wipe him out. <laughs> I'm out of here. You know, he could have stopped right there, but he says, No. Mm -hmm. He says, Forgive him. So yes. we are his imitators, we're his examples. Yes. And we're his body, and we need to continue his mission. So, Thanksgiving is John three sixteen. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world yes. that he gave his only begotten yes. Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish but have yeah. everlasting yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, don't get hooked on uh, religion. Don't get hooked on ways of you got to do it this way. The man at the cross, in his last moments, mm -hmm. he asked Jesus for forgiveness and asked Jesus mm -hmm. yeah. to come into the kingdom. He says, I recognize you. You're the Son of God. I recognize you. I know who you are. And Jesus says, today you'll be with me in paradise. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I didn't have to go through 20 steps. <laughs> I didn't have to go through who somebody's yeah. list of yeah. how it's supposed to be done. Oh my goodness, thank God. He says, today. Says yes. when you receive Jesus. Yes. So 
He's called us to go and minister and bring the word to the lost. He didn't say, uh, judge them, clean them, for me. <laughs> he does that. You just preach the word mm -hmm. and get the word out. Mm -hmm. And he does the, the cleaning and the judging. Amen. Okay, so Thank you, Lord. that part, he don't need help with. <laughs> just get the word out. That's all we need to do. <laughs> Praise God. God is so good. Luke uh, 6, 30, uh, 37, 38. Uh, through 37 in there. Let's go there. <sighs> See what it says. I know what it says, but let's go there. Luke 6. Luke 6. And we all have read it so many times. But Luke 6, 38. Or let's go to 37 first. Start 37. Thirty-seven, thirty-eight. <clears throat> judging others it says, "Judge not, and you will be you not be judged. Be, right. <laughs> Condemn not, and ye uh, shall not be condemned. Mm -hmm. Forgive, and ye shall be Forgive. forgiven." But then it says, thirty-eight says, "Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and." Run a number shall men give unto your bosom. Mm -hmm. For with the same measure that ye uh, meet with all, it shall be measured unto you. Amen. Yes. Okay. He wants us to give. He wants us to give of ourselves. I don't have anything to give. You got a whole lot to give. Love. Love, mm -hmm. yeah, number one. But you got to give yourself back to Him. Offer yourself back to Him. You got lots to give. You got a smile to give. You got a handshake to give. You got kindness to give. This is, you can go through a whole list. I've got, we got a list of them back over there. And we need to go back through that list of so many things that you can give of yourself. And we're not even talking about finances. That's the first thing. No, you, well, they always want my finances. <laughs> no, it's not about your finances. No. It's about giving yourself back yes. to Him. Yeah. Give mm. your love. Give your compassion. Give kindness. Yeah. It's hard to find anymore. And you know, prepare yourself because when you offer yourself to Him mm -hmm. and you be kind to somebody, and they're not going to be kind back to you. So just settle it down. <laughs> You're a servant of all, and they may not be nice, nice to you, mm -hmm. but that's okay. We've got to settle. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. He says this in Psalms 118, uh, 118 24. We got a slide. There it is. For this is what? The day the Amen. Lord has. Made. made for this is the day the Lord has given us mm -hmm. <laughs> we shall rejoice. be sad no, oh, we shall rejoice and be, be glad, glad in it so why are you sad you know the only time we say uh, any time of the week we say Friday and we thank God it's Friday <laughs> why do we always pick Friday it's the weekend's coming thank God it's Monday yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday every day Yes. Rejoice and be good. Rejoice and be glad in it. It's your choice. Yes. If he's your savior and you're his child, why am I going to be sad about it? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a choice you have to make. Mm -hmm. You know, because you don't want to approach people and pre and share Jesus with them and you're the saddest thing around. No boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, when you put a smile on your face. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. When you put a smile on your face, people are curious and want to know, why are you smiling? Now, when they open themselves, you uh -huh. can come in and say, yes. because I spent some time with my Savior. Mm -hmm. I spent some time with Jesus. Amen. And He loves me so much and He blesses me so much and He wants to do the same for you. Yeah. Then you come down with a sad face. Mm -hmm. They'll join you. <laughs> <laughs> and they got sadder faces than you. Oh, my goodness. Is that a good word? Sad, sadder faces? <laughs> we'll make it one. <laughs> they got sad faces. And don't bring no bad news because they got worse news than you. Oh, so my goodness. <laughs> we're not in there. He says, go and bring the good news. Uh -huh. We got the good news. The world's got sad news. The world's got bad news. So we don't want to share this bad news. We want to share the good news. Good news. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. 
Praise God. He's today, he has given us. I told you this before, but I'll say it again. I woke up this morning. I thank God I woke up. Mm -hmm. I opened two beautiful gifts this morning. <laughs> my eyes. Two beautiful gifts Amen. that he's given me. My eyes. What about you? You take it for granted? Thank God I opened. Thank God he woke me up. <laughs> yes. But I opened my, these beautiful gifts he has given me. Two eyes. Amen. Amen. And then able to get up and to serve him. Yes. Oh, praise God. Awesome. Lord. Praise God. Praise God. In John 10, 10, we already went through that, but it says the thief comes. Yes. The enemy comes. Satan comes. Yes. Then say your neighbor. Then say your classmate. Then say mm -hmm. uh, your co-worker. Mm -hmm. says the enemy yeah. does not come except to steal, kill, steal and to destroy. destroy. I have come that you might have life mm -hmm. and life more abundantly. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to skip that. So giving thanks to Jesus daily, not just once a year, not when you get blessed, mm -hmm. and not when you feel like it, mm -hmm. and not just when things are going good, mm -hmm. <laughs> but all the time. All the time. You know, yes. All the time. You know, when you stay with Him, uh, you're going to rejoice mm -hmm. in Him. And you're going to be glad in Him. And you're going to be so strong mm -hmm. in Him that you want to be so full to overflowing that you're going to want to go out and share. Mm -hmm. You don't want to keep it in yourself. You want to go out and share. Mm -hmm. Amen? You want to go and share with the world. Not just stay in the same place. <laughs> don't forget. He never forgot. Mm -hmm. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. That's right. Don't let your relationship with Jesus be like the spare time. Mm. Everybody drives everywhere and they feel so happy because they got a spare tire. Mm. And if they have problems, they know they can always go back and get it. Mm. Well, we don't want to treat him that way. As long as things are going well, <laughs> we forget about him. Mm -hmm. But when things go bad and you got problems, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, uh, Excuse me, Lord. It's me again. <laughs> I need help. Mm -hmm. Let's not treat him that way. Let's not give him the spare tire treatment. That's right. Amen. Only in case of emergencies. Oh, boy. Use only as needed. Uh -uh. Remember, a part-time Christian mm -hmm. is no mm -hmm. match to a full-time devil. That's right. And don't be a part-time Christian who demands a full-time guy. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Well, I can take my time out, but I can... You better be there. I need you full time. <laughs> when I call, you better be there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say this with me, church. I choose, I choose to, be to be a full time, a full -time, full -time Christian. Christian. Yeah, yeah, yes. time. <laughs> <laughs> Giving thanks should be, should get us excited and straight up. Yeah. And we're going to go to, you can start working your way to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6 and 7. We need to be stir ourselves up. Mm -hmm. I told you the story about Mondo. I was going to use a coke. I was going to use a coke. You know when you stir up a coke when we was kids and we stir up a uh, can of coke and you open it up and we just used to shower each other with it. You know, everybody been there. I see you all these smiling faces, huh? <laughs> you shake that coke, you shake that soda, and you open it up on somebody. And guess what? It's just going to blow up. Oh. Well, I asked Mondo to go get me a soda. I never told him. So he just went and got me a soda. He was being, he was being real nice to pass him. So he went and got it on the way back to me. <laughs> he opened it up for me. So, Here you go, pass it. Oh, my. Just oh, messed up my whole plan, but that's okay. <laughs> you know, he wants to mess up your plans, uh -huh. especially if you're going to do something like that to somebody. <laughs> but we are to stir ourselves up, just yes. like our little pep rallies we have. Amen. At our football games, you know, when you come out of that pep rally, you can beat anything. You can beat all the Goliaths that form in front of you, come in front of you. So on a daily basis, when you stand before Him, you know, you kneel before Him, mm -hmm. you lay before Him, whatever you do. It doesn't say how you do it. That's right. You can be laying in bed. Uh-huh. You can be sitting, you can be driving. Mm -hmm. 
But when you spend time with him, you know, just stir yourself up. He wants, you get stirred up. You get in the word, and it's going to stir you up. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be the same. Amen. And we don't want to be the same. We want to stir ourselves up. Amen. Because we don't want to be part-time servants. That's right. Amen. So you stir yourself up. Are you there yet? Yes. I'm done. Is it first or second? Go to the next one. Second Timothy second. chapter one. That's Psalms, Pastor. No, no, I know. Okay. That's okay. You should be right there. Okay. Second Timothy chapter one, verses six and seven. Six and seven. Wherefore, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gifts of God which is in thee by the putting of my hands. Mm -hmm. And then, seven, we all know. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but what? Of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Amen. So, there's gifts in you. Yes. You know, there's no junk in you. <laughs> there's no junk on you. What he says, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So we careful what, what we put in there. Yeah. But he says you have gifts in you. Mm -hmm. He's placed these things in you. He's qualified you. He's called you. Mm -hmm. Now it's up to us to stir ourselves up mm -hmm. so that we can get ourselves full to overflowing so yes. that we can go out, which I was going to show with the Coke. <laughs> <laughs> my first mind to open it up. So I said, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but we need to stir ourselves up. When you come out of that pep rally doing the football games, when you come out of that pep rally with or the spiritual pep rally with your heavenly father, mm -hmm. you're gonna come out of there blowing up. Yeah, fire. Since out of your innermost being shall flow yeah, rivers, rivers of living water. Mm -hmm. Living water, not dead, living yeah. water. The word is gonna come out. The word is alive. The word is alive and powerful and more powerful than two inches sword. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We need the word for our spiritual battle. That's right. It's a spiritual battle. You cannot defeat the enemy in the flesh. That's right. That's why we've been defeated all this time. It's time to turn it around. Get full of the word. Defeat him. Put him on a run. Yeah. Submit yourself to God. Resist him and he will flee from you. He wants to get away from you. You don't want to stay around. He wants to go. <laughs> Thank him that you woke up. This opened my two beautiful gifts this morning. My eyes. <laughs> Thank Him for the many blessings on a daily basis. Thank you, Lord. Thank Him for a new day. Thank Him for new mercies. Lamentations 3, 23 and 24 in the King James says, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. Oh, boy. Because His compassion fail not. That's right. They are new every morning. Every morning. Great every morning. is Thy faithfulness. Amen. He's always there for us. He never leaves us, don't forsake us. That's right. So we need to He's our rock. Yes. And we need the rock. We need him. Amen. Amen. We know. As long as we're connected. This is great equipment over here. Mm -hmm. And the praise mm -hmm. team, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. The musicians, you got to be plugged in to play some of these instruments. And if you're not plugged into the source, it won't work. <laughs> <laughs> these microphones are great, but if you're not hooked up to the source, it ain't going to work. That's right. We need to stay hooked up to Him Amen. to work. Yes. Amen. For the right things to come out. We want the right things. His word to flow from us. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Him for paying the price in full. Mm -hmm. Thank Him that through Him you can do all things. All Thank things. Him that you're able to complete your daily missions. Amen. I mean, we have a life mission, but on a daily basis we have assignments. <coughs> mm -hmm. Amen. You don't see him on the cross anymore. No. He's no longer there. It's about the Bible says that he's seated at the right hand of the Father. Mm -hmm. A place of authority, a place of honor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Where he intercedes for us. He prays for us. Mm -hmm. So he hadn't forgot about us. We just don't need to forget about him. That's all right. Amen. We are Lord, I need I need I need some more energy. I need some more strength, Lord. So you spend time with him, fill yourself up, get yourself strong in here. Yes. Stir yourself yeah. up. <laughs> Praise Amen. God. We have much to gain and nothing to lose except ourselves. Yes. Give up our time. You know, uh, maybe your plan mm -hmm. doesn't line up with his plan. Mm -hmm. 
So put your plan aside mm -hmm. and get his plan to work for you. Amen. So, it's, yes. you know, sometimes we pray and ask the Lord to say, bless my plan mm -hmm. because my plan is going to succeed. But the yeah. Lord says, I have a plan already for you. Mm -hmm. And it's going to succeed all the way through. All you need to do is line up with him. <laughs> line up with him. Amen. Amen. And don't try to turn him around. There you go. Now we're here. Psalms 100. It's a Psalms of that, uh, Psalm of Thanksgiving. It says what? Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. You know, when I try to make a joyful noise unto the Lord, people tell me, go back, step back. <laughs> you don't like my voice. <laughs> you don't like my singing. <laughs> he said, we want you to back us up, but you got to go way back. <laughs> Keep going back. <laughs> I said, but that's outside. I said, oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> outside is better. Oh, God. <laughs> Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lads. Serve the Lord with gladness. sadness. No, gladness. gladness. We need to remind ourselves these things. With gladness, come before his presence with singing. singing. You know, if it works for him, mm -hmm. <laughs> come before his presence with yes. Singing. Singing. Come, come uh, serve the Lord with gladness. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you're a servant of God and you approach somebody mm -hmm. uh, all sad, mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to be able to receive. That's right. Amen. I, I kind of highlighted these things, but serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he, he is. is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. So, verse 4, enter his gates with thanksgiving, thanksgiving thank you, Lord. Yes. And into his courts with praise. praise. Be thankful unto him and bless, bless his, name. his name. For the Lord is good. good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Giving thanks, Psalms 100, is, first of all, excitement. Yes. Make a joyful noise. Yes. Excited. Be excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Serve with gladness. Yes. These are words of actions here. Come on. Uh -huh. Come before His presence with singing. singing. Mm -hmm. Getting to know the Lord. He is God. Into His gates into his gates and his courts with thanksgiving and with praise. Sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Giving yourself. Mm -hmm. Just like Jesus. Father called Jesus in heaven one day and says, Son, I want my people back. Mm -hmm. So I need to sacrifice you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you on this mission. And you're going to fulfill this mission. Mm -hmm. And you're going to complete this mission. Do you want to go? So the son, the father asked the son, the son wants to um, to make his dad proud. So the son says, yes, son. Mm -hmm. When he came, he knew he was going to be sacrificed, but he never backed down. That's right. God has a great plan for you. Mm -hmm. If we stay strong in him, we don't have to back down. That's right. We can press on. Amen. Can press on. Amen. Amen. Press on. Because he's called to you and you're his favorite child. <laughs> Bless his name. Bless the Lord. The Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth. To all generations, it stands. Stands forever, for eternity. Yes. Psalms 91, excuse me, Psalm 100, is full of action words. Yeah. Shout, mm. serve, come, know, enter, give, and bless. All these are action <coughs> words. We're people of action. Mm -hmm. So we need to stay active in Him. Amen? Amen? It's not time to just kick back and sit back, find a comfy zone, uh -uh. and do nothing. He wants us to be participators, That's not right. spectators. Right. <laughs> Some of us have been watching too many games, and uh, we like spectating. <laughs> Some of us join sometimes. We do more shouting in the games than we do in church. We come to church and we sit so still. I saw you at the game. 
you was dancing, you was shouting, I could hear you all the way across the way over there. Doing the wave. <laughs> yeah, doing the wave, you was moving, you come to church and you can't even move. You come before his presence and you can't move yourself. You can't speak, you can't say nothing. And I know what I heard from you. <laughs> and the Father knows too. Uh -huh. yes, so you're yes. holding back. We're holding back. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> All these words are calling us to do something. Be yes, thankful with our words, with our actions. Yeah. To give thanks is a matter of involvement. Yes. Be involved in your church. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Be involved in your church. Go find you a church. Pray. Ask the Lord to send you to a church where you can be involved and active. Mm -hmm. If you go to a church and they don't want to, or you got to fill out a uh, a thing that you know takes you forever to fulfill. Well, you gotta sit for three years. Well, it's gotta sit three years before they use you and go somewhere else. <laughs> but go to a place that preaches the word of God. Amen. We, we, we've done this, and uh, I just go to the pastor and says, God brought us here. This is our church. I want you to know I'm here to do, I'm here to, to, to be used of God, I'm here to be used of you. Where do you need help, Pastor? Mm -hmm. Where can we help you? And they'll tell you where they need help. Oh, well, I'm not good at those things. <laughs> I'm not good at that. The only thing I'm good at and I want to help is uh, with the praise and worship. <laughs> no. You did. Just <laughs> make yourself available to be used wherever a pastor needs help. Yeah, make yourself Lord. available to be used in little things mm -hmm. or big things. It doesn't matter to me the size. What matters to me is be involved. Yes. Amen. Amen. And do something. I want yes. to do something. I want to be a doer of the word and not just here only. Here only. Yes. Amen. Be involved. Get involved. Yes. Thank you, Lord. God wants to place you here. God wants to surround you with a church family. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes our families are not close. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we may not have a family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you have a church family. He says, don't forsake the assembly of yourselves together. Mm -hmm. You can come together and you can do all things in yeah. Christ. Encourage one another. Amen. Help each other. Call on somebody mm -hmm. and let them know, hey, you went to church. I missed you. Your place, you know, I missed you there. I just wanted you to know we're praying for you. We missed you. If you need help, if you need a ride, let me know. I'll come get you. Mm -hmm. Come on now. I'm preaching better than you ain't been Get involved. Be participator, not spectator. Yeah. You know what happens when you spectate? <laughs> we start to judge. <laughs> oh, boy. And we start to criticize. <laughs> and well, you know what? Hey, you know, pastor's okay, but uh, I, I could have preached a better word. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> so and so. Uh, you should have seen what so and so was wearing. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? If we had our eyes on him uh -huh. and we had our yes. attention Jesus on him and on what it was, yeah, yeah, we had our Jesus glasses on, we wouldn't be noticing. That's right. You know what? When God cleaned them up, mm -hmm. when God had cleaned them up and blessed them and provide for them, they'll wear what God wants them to wear. That's right. They'll wear something better. Maybe that's all they have right now. That's right. That's so right. who are we to say, we missed you, and we're glad you're here. Yeah. We're not here to love. We're here to love you, accept you, and forgive you, mm -hmm. because God sent you here. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Not to say, well, you know, you're not dressed good enough for our little club here. Oh, boy. We're the body of Christ. We're the church. Mm -hmm. Wherever God sends us, you know, who are we to say, you're not good enough. That's right. World's look, uh, world's uh, looking for a place to come where they can feel the love and compassion of God, mm -hmm. not where you can fit in mm -hmm. to somebody's club. Mm -hmm. That's not what we're here for, church. That's right. We're not just here for big numbers, you know, and grow ourselves. We're here to do the Lord's work. Amen. 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 So praise God. Amen. God called us to be active, involved in in, uh, in giving thanks to Him. Giving thanks daily, every day, mm -hmm. is the right time to give thanks. Amen. Say, well, you ain't did nothing for me today. So how am I going to thank you? 
You don't have to do anything else. Oh my God! You know that salvation yes. is free. It's a free gift. It's oh a free gift, God. and some people will never accept salvation. Mm. So it's time, even if he doesn't do anything else, it's time for us to receive him as our Lord and Savior. Yes. And just say thank you. Yeah. You don't have to do anything else. He's already done he's everything done he's going to do. We need to do our part. Yes. This is where this is where we're lacking. We need Amen. to do our part. Amen. It's time to get involved. It's time to do something, church. That's right. We're going to hear from us in a few minutes. Yes. Giving thanks joyfully. Thank you, Lord. Giving thanks joyfully. Amen. Is about excitement. Yes. Amen. Every one of you. Every one of you is. The Bible says, every one of you. They all came by the blood of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. testimony. Every one of you has been tested. Every one of you has got a testimony. Mm -hmm. Every one of us, our testimonies are different. Yes. But our testimonies are there for us to share with somebody mm -hmm. that God can use. You'd be surprised, Mr. Oscar, and the testimonies that he hears out there mm -hmm. when he goes see ministers at, at the jails, at the prisons. Mm -hmm. There's testimonies out there. Yeah. Your testimony is going to set somebody yes. free. Yes. You know, so don't hold it. Don't hold it when God says, share it. When he says, share it, share it. You know, well, I don't want nobody to know. God knows. You know, and we're not perfect. He's not looking for perfect people. He's looking for available people. Mm -hmm. Make yourself available to be used of God. Amen. You know, all the people he used in the Bible. No, no, it's perfect. That's right. But he used them anyway. Yes, he did. So he wants to use you. So quit right. trying to make yourself perfect because you'll never get there. That's right. And quit trying to find the perfect church. Because <laughs> if you find the perfect it. church, when you get there, yes, it'll, be right. it'll be perfect. That's perfect. So I love you, church. Don't throw anything at me. We're going to stop right there. Praise God. Thank we're going to stop right there. What do you mean? That's the first time we said, thank you, Lord. In closing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, everybody waiting for me to say that. Hallelujah. My time, but we are. Well, I just want to say, every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Yes, it Hallelujah. is. Amen. Amen. Get actively involved and give thanks to Him. Thank Him on a daily basis, not once a year. That's right. Not when you feel like it. Uh -huh. Every day is a day of Thanksgiving. Amen. Church, give Him thanks and praise daily, often. Have a happy Thanksgiving day, daily church. Mm -hmm. Every day. Every right. day. Thanksgiving day. Day, day with him just mm -hmm. to get before him and yeah. say thank you. Amen. Don't you think you appreciate that so much? Just to say, you know, my people love me so much. Mm -hmm. They thank me daily. Yes. That's good. Amen. It's not about what we can do, it's what he can do. Yes. Amen. What he's, he's done Lord. already. What he's done so already. He's done already. Yeah. Look what the Lord has done. That's yes. a beautiful song. I love it. And we got to change our ways. We got to change our attitudes. So, some of you that are listening, if you haven't given your life to Christ, it's time to come to Christ. Yes, amen. Quit waiting. It's time. The time is now. So all you have to say is, Lord Jesus, Lord forgive Jesus. me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my life. Into my Be, my Be my Lord and Savior. I pray he send you to the right church. Amen. Where they preach the word of God. Yes. And you get hooked up. Yes. Amen. Amen. You get hooked up. So praise God. Hallelujah. Those of you that are listening, watching. And you need yes. to touch from God. All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, touch me. I'm hurting. I need to touch. The Bible says that by his stripes we are healed. Heal. Amen. Amen. So yes. just receive your healing. Amen. Yes. Put your hand wherever you're hurting. Yes. And Lord, I thank you, Father, for touching him. Yes. And healing him right there, Father thank God. You. Because it's by your precious blood, the blood of Jesus, that by his stripes we are healed, healed. and made whole. Thank Father, you, in Jesus' name. So praise God. Yes. Those of you that are here, if you need a touch from God. Yes. You know.